it's, it's massive because we finally had something to show off, which we didn't have before, it was virtual. Okay. We've refurbished an area of St Mary's Hospital, Domitilla 1, that has uh, offices, labs and space for the centre to have a focus and a face. And really this open house is to celebrate the fact that we're opening this new build part of the building, this new facility. And um, it's to show off some of the research that we're presently doing and also to be able to explain some of the future research we'd like to do. The neurological rehabilitation right from the beginning had the, the greatest critical mass and the uh, most momentum. So that one's the first one out, out of the box and it's the one that's really um, beginning to take off. Within the neural engineering lab here at Mayo, we're using a novel technique of functional electrical stimulation to try to restore function in, in paralyzed limbs, paralyzed muscles, uh, below the level of spinal cord injury using um, a novel technique where we actually place electrodes within the spinal cord to activate dormant neural circuitry that allows uh, recovery of, of muscle function. Treating patients who have traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injuries and being able to um, give them the wherewithal to uh, do things they wouldn't be able to do normally through modern intervention techniques with the help of, re of rehabilitation. Right, the van to the transit center. The ability to independently use public transportation is a very common problem for individuals with cognitive impairment. And so we want to use this technology, uh, a, a, an application for a smartphone, to help them independently navigate public transportation. And not only um, for individuals to succeed doing that, but also for their significant other or their family member to be able to monitor their progress along the route to make certain that they are successful. So in the musculoskeletal area, which is my area of expertise, um, we're working closely with the regenerative uh, rehabilitation component of the center to develop new ways to, and improved ways to restore the various components of the musculoskeletal system, which includes bone, cartilage, ligaments, uh, muscle. And this both would occur after people have had traumatic injuries, so that the, the tissue needs to be repaired or replaced or regenerated, and also in diseases like arthritis where these tissues are uh, eroded and again need to be replaced for a slightly different reason. <music> see how far forward you can go without losing your balance and without moving your feet, so just come forward. The third area is medical rehabilitation, which is quite varied. We have a number of different um, areas under investigation there, including aging, uh, cardiovascular, rehabilitation after cancer, and pediatric rehabilitation, and things like this. We have three centre-wide programs that are in one way of thinking like core facilities that support these activities and synergise with them. The uh, regenerative rehabilitation. There is functional outcomes. Based on every response you give, the computer is learning a little more about you. Oh, okay. And it's picking items that are the most capable of precisely estimating your functionality. Oh, okay. What we're trying to do is develop a very, very efficient monitoring strategy, strategy that doesn't impose burden on patients. So we, because this is computer-based, we can do it telephonically, we can do it through a smartphone, we can do it via the web, and it gets us, gives us a very non-burdensome way of tracking patients over time so we know exactly when to bring them in for therapies. And there's also assistive and restorative technology. Hello. <laughs> and some of the projects going on there are very interesting. For instance, they're developing a novel and improved prosthetic hand that will move and obey the muscular commands of the amputee that's wearing it. This robotic hand uh, was a TED Talk in Italy. Uh, it was that exciting when it first came out as a hand for robots. And then we're trying to convert it as opposed to being a hand for robots now to help people with upper extremity amputations. Now we 
have a face and a presence and a premises, then it's a harbinger of things to come um, that we f we're very keen on.